The video that you are about to view contains material created by the Tutorial Center at Fresno City College. We base the information used on fact and research to the best of our knowledge. As the viewer of this video, you should always follow the directions given to you by your instructor. The materials covered in these videos should be viewed as supplemental only. Hello everyone, and welcome to our second chemistry episode of Tutors. My name is Andrew. And my name is Judy. In this video, we will cover stoichiometry and the ideal gas law. Stoichiometry deals with the relative quantities between reactants and products in chemical reactions. It was founded on the law of conservation of mass, which states the mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of the products. In a balanced chemical reaction, the reactants and products typically form a ratio of positive integers. As an example, in a reaction that forms ammonia, NH3, exactly one molecule of nitrogen, N2, reacts with three molecules of hydrogen, H2, which produces two molecules of NH3 and is written in a chemical formula. N2 plus 3H2 forms 2NH3. Stoichiometry can also be used to determine the amount of products that can be produced with given reactants. A percent yield is the percentage of the given reactant that is made into the product. Stoichiometry calculations can predict how elements and components will react when diluted in standard solutions under experimental conditions. Reaction stoichiometry is the ratio relationship between participating components of a chemical reaction. In this example above, the ratio of molecules of hydrogen, nitrogen, and ammonia are 1 to 3 to 2 respectively. Composition stoichiometry is the relationship or ratio between individual elements within a compound. For example, the ratio of hydrogen to nitrogen in the compound ammonia has one mole of nitrogen and three mole of hydrogen, which is one mole of ammonia respectively. Also, since the nitrogen atom is about 14 times heavier than the hydrogen atom, the mass ratio is about 14 to 3, which means that every 17 kilograms of ammonia contains 14 kilograms of nitrogen and 3 kilograms of hydrogen. A stoichiometric amount or stoichiometric ratio of a region is the ideal outcome of a given reactant, assuming that 1. All the region is consumed, 2. There is no shortfall of the region, and 3. There is no excess of the region. If these conditions are not met, then the only limited region is consumed during the completion of a reaction, which is known as a limiting reactant. Gas stoichiometry deals with the gas-related reactions, where the gases are at known temperatures, pressures, and volumes, and can be assumed to be ideal gases. For gases, the volume ratio is ideally the same by the ideal gas law, but the mass ratio of a single reaction has to be calculated from the mole ratio of the products and reactants. The ideal gas law is an equation of describing the state of a hypothetical ideal gas. It is good approximation for behavior in many gases under many conditions. The most frequently introduced form of the equation is PV equals nRT where P is the pressure of the gas, often in atmospheres, ATM, V is the volume of the gas, usually in liters, L, N is most often in moles of gas, T is the temperature of the gas, usually in Kelvin, K, and R is the ideal or universal gas constant. R has the value 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole, which is in units of energy, or 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, which is most often used for the ideal gas law. Notice the units of the ideal gas constant. A very common mistake in the ideal gas stoichiometry is forgetting to make sure that the units are the same as R. If you have any questions or seek additional help, please stop by the tutorial center. Thank you for watching, and don't forget the assessment below.